of Sourcing Warriors, I hope you're having an excellent day. I know a lot of you are antsy and curious about checking out the EWU market, but a lot of you may be intimidated, the long flights and going to the foreign countries. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some awesome ways finding the product and finding the suppliers from the EWU market without you having to leave your chair. If we just met, my name is Yu Ping Wang. I'm here to share with you the best sourcing and money making tips. So if you don't want to go to China, we have to hop online to find the product and suppliers from Yiwu. And that website name is yiwugo.com. Let's go shopping. Hello, hello. We are at the Yiwu Go. Let's have some fun shopping. So as you can see, yiwugo.com is defaulted to Chinese. And if you click on the English version, it will give you the English version. By the way, guys, if you are sourcing product from yiwugo.com, you will need to register as a user. So it will give you more access to the product details and the shop details. So once on the home page, you can see there's a home and categories. RFQ, EWU City, Prime Service, and Trade Fairs. Right now, your primary goal is to find a product and find a supplier. The only tab you need to explore is categories. Click on that. As you can see, this is a collection of EWUGO.com categories. It's a broad category, uh, fashion, school supplies, festival, party, wedding, all the way to toys, fun, novelty, product, and machine, and equipment. If you have a time, you don't have a specific product idea, you can browse through each categories. Or if you have some idea, for example, if you're looking for toys and novelty product, you can click on one of the categories. Now you're under the subcategories, just like on Amazon, you can have a first category and subcategories. Under the subcategories, under the toy, you can see there's a toy glasses, there's a plastic spiders, and there's jigsaws and twin toys, all the way to sailboat <laughs> and the dragon whistles. These are typical party products, right? So click on one of the subcategories. It will give you more of a product listing. Now we're on the product page of a toy novelty fun products on the top of the page it will give you some related suppliers i find this to be totally unrelated and unuseful so you can just ignore ignore it and try to sort through by product whatever catch your eye say you're looking for a party product you know like this maybe this is a glowy very party first day kind of a glowy product you can click on the product listing it will give you the arm uh um, moqs and the unit price and this in this case this this particular product if it's 10 to 1000 pieces it's a 60 cents that is about 10 cents of us dollar and if you order over uh 10000 pieces that will be half of the price so under the product listing you will be able to access to their detailed contact to the person who is uh, in charge of the shop. And in this case, the contact person is Amanda and you see her cell phone number, her email address and her booth number, which is under the district one. And if you wanted to see what other product this shop carry, you can go back to the product listing, which is this product. You can click on this shop name you see here these are shop names these are product these are product names product descriptions these are shop names as you can see this is one shop beijing xinghua yuan toys firm and this is another shop qinda electronic factory qinda Elec factory uh, electronic factory as you can see these two products are offered by the same shop and these two identical products are offered by two different shops. Remember I mentioned that in my um, the previous video of of Yiwu shops, 80% of them are trading companies. The same product are sold by many different shops and the same product would be made by the same factory in this case. Who do you choose? So let me show you the shop first. This is going to blow your, blow your mind if you haven't seen it before. So let me just click on the shop. I see all kinds of product that they carry, right? B 
besides on these glowing glasses that you just saw. They see these like glowing flower, glowing hearts, right? So this is their um, products. And if you look at this, this is a very cool. This is a virtual tour of their shop. If you enlarge the shop, you can see different type of a product that they carry. Here's your party supply glowing glasses. You see how fun this is? So without having to go to evil market, you can actually explore each shop and see what type of product they carry. And that's probably Amanda hiding be <laughs> behind a little toy. You see, there's a, even the spinners, right? So you exit on that. So let me get back to the point where you see there's a two well, same product, but carried by two different shops. Which one should you prefer? Let's take a look. This company, they're selling this product. They're saying that this is 100,000 pieces. It will be 1.2 yuan and 300 to 5,000 is 1.35. And the other shop, identical. 100,000 pieces, 1.2, 300 to 5,000, 1.35. So which one should you look, I mean, should you contact? Let's take a look at their company. If you look at their company, this company gives you a little, you know, their office little boxes. This to me is a trading company. As you can see, their main product are all spinner kind of crap. <laughs> and then the other one, if you look at their company, you can see they have different related products. They're all more like electronic. If you can see this company, let's enlarge this company. It's called Yuanhuang Electronics. Most likely this company is actually you know, perhaps a factory, you will have to do more due diligence to verify. You can see all kinds of product within this shop. This is pretty cool, right? See different kind of products and the suppliers. Let's take a look this dragon whistle. See this is Tong Tongo Toys Firm. Let's take a look what they have to carry. Oh my God, a lot of Halloween kind of product. Oh my God, oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, this is more Halloween fake body parts. That's just pretty disgusting. Let's exit here. This is one way of finding product and the suppliers. Looking through broader categories, go to subcategories um, and to find the product. The second way of finding product and the supplier on evilgo.com is by exploring what's in each building. Let me show you. If you're on a product page, you can see here the index here, product and suppliers. Once you click on that, it will show you the five buildings. And if you click on the building one, you can see it will show you the detailed directory of what's the product on each floor. The floor number one, um, floor number two and floor number three and four. So if you are planning to go to Ewu, this is actually the best approach by having a virtual tour of I I what's in each building. This will mentally prepare you. So let's just say if you're looking for toys in the building one on the first floor, we can actually see there's a 45,000 product listings. And the best part of this is now you can sort by shops. You can see there's 1,876 shops found in the building one on the first floor showing toys. The interesting thing about this is not all the shops is going to give us access. I find there's some shops will ask for a password, which we don't have. And then we have to contact this, this shop and saying, I'm uh, looking for a specific product. Maybe they will give us the password to have a virtual tour of their shop. But let's see this DIY toy shop. 
they actually gave us a virtual tour. We can take a look first. You see, that's the second way of uh, finding product and the suppliers on eWoogo.com. What do you think, guys? It's pretty cool, right? You don't have to buy an expensive airline ticket to suffer through hours of hours of a long flight going to eWoo Market and find the product and suppliers. But if you're really serious about going to the eWoo Market, I'm going to make a video to give you the best eWoo sourcing advice. So. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe this channel and turn on that notification bell so you can receive that video when I release it. Until then, I hope you have an excellent day. I'll see you soon.